Hello and welcome to Talking of Sebe and welcome back here to the channel guys to the second La Liga game of the season. Barcelona take on Real Betis live from the camp now and believe me we've got to hit back. It might be early on but after losing your first game the only response possible is to come here, win in front of our own fans and of course this game may well mark the return, the long awaited return. It seems like longer than it has been but Messi should be back and we are going to be here waiting for it. The full match preview. It's coming up right now for you guys. Kickoff will be coming to us at 9 p.m. local time in Barcelona, live, of course, for the first time this season from the camp now. And here, guys, are the times right around the world so you can see our very first home league game of the season unfold right in front of your eyes. And like I say, we'll be hoping for an improvement. That's what we have to see. It's as simple as that for me. And as always, you guys have been predicting, and I have to say, always certainly looking for us to win, but not by three goals. Today, the majority here by two goals Barcelona and I'd take that right now certainly Betis are going to be a challenge we saw last season they're capable of some very very good things and like I say we've got to step it up because elsewhere in La Liga this weekend Real Madrid on the Saturday they're going to be hosting Valladolid at the Santiago Bernabeu in their first home game of the season that's coming there on Saturday evening a game they'll expect to win just like they won in their first game away at Celta whereas Atletico Madrid looking very very strong so far this season with a good squad of players there with Diego Simeone they're going to be playing on Sunday in the game before hours away at Leganes, which won't be an easy game. But again, you expect there the two Madrid clubs to pick up maximum points. And when you look at the table after round one, it's very, very early days. Of course, very early in the season. Difficult to judge anything this early on. But at the same time, there's maximum points there from Real, from Atletico, from Sevilla. You can't afford to keep slipping back. Barcelona, they've lost that first game of the season away at Athletic Club. It was a bad game, a bad defeat. Now you've got to hit back because this early on, even though it's early days, you can't just keep saying, well, you know, there's time to pick it up, because these teams, they'll get away from you. Many times over the last few years, we've been the good starters. We started the season strongly, and nobody is caught up. We can't afford here to fall behind, and we've got to make sure tomorrow we get the three points. But as I mentioned there, in the intro, we will have a massive helping hand in our favour, in the form of the greatest. Lionel Messi is very much expected to play in this game here against Real Betis. He's been training in the latter part of the week, back with the group once again, and looking in really good spirits, looking motivated there to go out and make that statement that Messi always does, drags Barcelona to an entirely different level. And I just want to show you here what the Betis coach Ruby said ahead of this game. He said that I think Messi will start the game. That's what I personally believe. And he said, I actually prefer here Messi just have a bit of a cold. Maybe if he could have a cold, not a serious injury, but just a cold so he doesn't play in this game. Clearly there, Betis very, very wary of what Messi can do. And again, you guys voting here. I want to know, would you start Messi? Would you bring him off the bench? Would you even rest him in this game? And the majority there opting to start Messi from the bench in this game and introduce him as the game goes on. Maybe see how things go. Maybe see how we start the game without him. And then, of course, having him on the bench, having that sort of presence to come on there, command the game and hopefully turn it in our favour. Because like I say, when you look at that performance against Athletic Club, we have to step up. It's a good team here that we're facing. Yes, we're at home. But at the same time, like I said, they're also in the intro. Better this caused us problems last season and of course they beat us at the camp now and that game incidentally Barcelona versus Real Betis back in November of 2018 incidentally that was also the game where Messi himself was returning from an injury it was his arm injury back then that was his first game back against Betis and it did end in defeat but it was Setien's fantastic team Kike Setien the coach then it was outstanding from Betis the way they played it was emphatic they really dominated the game they arrived at the camp now and they just passed around us they really did they pick holes in our defence and they've scored four goals in the process with Junior Firpo, now a Barcelona player. Will he feature tomorrow against his old side? He scored there back in November of 2018 and Betis remain the most recent team to win at the camp now. However, when we're looking at our opposition, you simply have to take note, this is not the same Betis team that we will have seen last year simply because Kike Setien has gone now for Real Betis. He's no longer their coach. They parted company at the end of the season on sort of mutual grounds and I think 
certainly they're trying to move on from that. I'm not really sure why they want to go in a new direction, but that's what they want to do. In has come Ruby from Espanol, who did a good job there across our city neighbours last season, along also with their major summer signing, Borja Iglesias, who scored 17 La Liga goals last season for Espanol, and he's really a player Betis were crying out for. If there was one thing under Kike Setien they were lacking, it was that natural centre forward, capable there of scoring the goals they need to propel them at the league. They should be in Europe, no doubt about that. They've got the quality there, the players they have. They should certainly be playing European football. And of course, we can't forget this signing of Nabil Fakir, which I feel they're looking at him, looking at the quality, how Betis have managed to get him. That there, if he stays fit, could be one of the signings of the summer. And of course, we did face him last season in the Champions League when we came up against Leon. But even so, much like Barcelona, Betis didn't start their season well. Last weekend, much like ourselves, it ended in defeat for them. 2-1 at home to Real Vidal. They wouldn't have gone down well there. That wasn't a good result at all for Betis. But at the same time, it is difficult to read too much into that, simply because their goalkeeper, Joel Robles, was sent off there just minutes into the game. It was a long, long time there for them to play with 10 men. And they, just like Barca, they'll want to hit back. They'll want to make a statement just like they did last season. We have to be wary of that. We have to be ready. We have ambitions of our own. We've got to win this game. And I think when you are looking here at possible lineups, the first thing we have to do is accept maybe Messi will be on the bench for this game. And if he is, we've got a real, real problem in that front three. A real lack of options. And that's why I think, actually, we could see something very similar to this. Maybe not in personnel altogether, but certainly in shape. Simply because you've got Suarez out, you've got Dembele out, you've got a lack of numbers there in the final third. Messi may appear from the bench. Who are you going to play there alongside Antoine Griezmann? Perhaps Ernesto Valverde here will bring in Rafinha, who did suffer from some illness this week. Maybe he's not going to be 100% going into this game. Even he could be a doubt. You've got Sergio Roberto. I think Valverde will certainly look to use that utility. The fact that he can play in many, many different areas. Maybe he can help that front three. I would personally love to see somebody, if we are going to be desperate in the wider areas, put somebody like Carlos Perez. Somebody there who's a natural player, who can come on either side, who can make an impact. A bit of pace there to trouble Betis. Because, of course, at times they can play narrow. They can play there with the back three. That's what they did under Setien. Maybe it'll be different now under Ruby. But I think Perez, somebody there, a natural wide player who can get at Betis. But certainly in this middle of the park here, I would expect to see more experience. Busquets will come back in. Rakitic will most likely come back in. Frank de Jong here will have much more of a prominent role, I feel, at the camp now here. A big pitch, a nice big pitch there to go out and really control this game. I think the back four probably will stay the same to Stegen in goal. Alba there, Longley. Maybe Umtiti could come in, but I think Longley alongside Gerard Pique with Semedo at right back. But ultimately there, it's what's going to happen in that front three. I think perhaps if Messi's going to start the game, we could see something like this. Of course, Rafinha may come over to the left-hand side. Messi will go out to the right-hand side. And of course, we've got to talk there about Antoine Griezmann. Messi, of course, is coming back into the team. Of course, the onus there is going to be on him to make something happen. But Griezmann, his home debut here at the camp now in Barcelona colours. He didn't play all that well against Athletic. And of course, it is going to take time. But here's the kind of game here. We need something. Suarez is out. Dembele is out. We've got a real lack of options. Now, Griezmann has to step up. He's got to show why we paid 120 million euros for him. It is time now. Go out there, make a statement, and really help us out when we're clearly in a time of need. And of course, as well, it's not all about that front three. There's certainly options there in the middle of the park. Two players that we haven't really seen at all there with Barcelona since they returned from duty there with Copa America. Arthur Mello and Arturo Vidal. Two players there who could possibly come into the team in different areas. De Jong could drop in a bit deeper. Vidal there for a bit of punch, a bit of heart there in midfield. And of course, Arthur, we we want to see him alongside Frank Dion. We want to see that element of control. Those two there in midfield, I think we have to see together at some stage. But whether Valverde here will put them back in this game, will he put Rakitic on the bench again? That's going to be very, very interesting to see. If he does, that could be a real statement here as we go towards the end of the transfer window. And also Sergio Busquets. Both of them came on against Athletic. Both of them were called upon. But will Valverde reintroduce them to the starting lineup? And if he doesn't, who's going to come in to replace them? But of course, all eyes on Lionel Messi. Does he start? Does he start from the bench? What will happen in this game? But at the end of it, the only thing is certain. We must win. So please leave your full thoughts in the comments down below, guys. What are you thinking? What are you feeling ahead of this game? I think it's certainly going to be a tough one on paper, especially given the fact that Messi is only just come back to the team. Suarez injured, Dembele injured. Things certainly in the forward areas are not exactly going smoothly for Barcelona right now, but I'm going to go here with a very close game. Barcelona 2, Real Betis 1. I do think it's going to be tight. Last season against them was very, very tough. Since then, I don't feel we've evolved. Betis have got a lot of good players in their team, a lot of quality. We 
we are going to have to seriously raise our level. The intensity is going to have to be upped. We need to want this. We have to want this if we want to get the three points. But what will happen? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, I'll see you after the game where we'll be reviewing everything we've seen. And hopefully, it's some good stuff. I'll see you then, guys. Thank you, as always, for joining me. But until next time, as always, Vesca! El Barca! Oh, yeah.